Saving a rainy vacation week, next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for June 17th. We toss out a couple of non-beach suggestions for stir-crazy vacationers in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In breaking news, three people were injured in a head-on crash on Route 6 near Montano's restaurant in North Truro early this morning. According to police, a Chevy Tahoe rolled over after colliding with a Toyota Highlander about 1.30 in the morning. None of the injuries were believed to be life-threatening. Shock waves are reverberating through the Cape Cod Baseball League after 20-year-old Barrett Dale, a pitcher with the Brewster Whitecaps, sustained major injuries when he was pinned beneath a truck driven by teammate Ryan Woolley Sunday night. Yesterday, Woolley pleaded not guilty to operating under the influence of alcohol in Orleans District Court. Hey folks, nothing strains family ties more than a cloudy vacation week. Thus, CapeCast is pleased to offer a couple of non-beach alternatives to help out till the sun shines through. We begin with a trip to Color Me Mine, a paint-your-own pottery studio in Mashpee Commons. That's pretty. Mm. Thank you. Do you like my sparkling guys? Oh, so oh, cool. It's so sparkly. It shines. <laughs> it shines like the glitter that's I mean. in it. <laughs> yeah. That is very right cool. Oh, really? Oh, I love that. Can I see yours, Kenna? I like yours, Kenna. Which I like everyone likes them. Oh, everyone looks great. I thought your beer was going to be round, Kenna. This is Color Me Mine in the Mashpee Commons. Now, what people do is they come and they paint pottery. We do have special techniques on the wall over there that people can choose to do, or they can go on and do their own thing. We mostly have kids that come in just to paint. It's very therapeutic for them. Very relaxing and easy. Makes them think mentally and physically on what they want to do and it calms them down and makes them just happier. Um, we do do a lot of custom stuff for people. We have our own kiln and we make the stuff here right for you. Yeah, have some more brown. I like it because Makes me feel good to see my own work and to watch and to feel like I've done something and I'm really proud of myself. And even if it's a little chilly or cloudy, you can still stroll the spectacular grounds of Armstrong Kelly Park on Main Street in Osterville. Welcome to Armstrong Kelly Park, Cape Cod's oldest, 1930, and largest 8.5 acres, privately owned park open free to the public and their pets. Owned by the Cape Cod Horticultural Society, this wonder in the woods is a marvelous place to come and stroll. Speaking of gardening, ace videographer Mary Jo Wheatley has just added a spiffy how-to video to our online gardening page. Here's a sample. Hi, I'm Natalie Spence, and I'm going to be your host of the Garden Club series. I have a passion for gardening, and I've been a professional gardener for over 20 years. Join me on this journey. Today we're going to meet Dick and Pam Bowden of Cape Cod. They've recently downsized to a smaller house with a much smaller yard. But there's a vegetable garden to be added. Let's see how they've done it. To see the whole video, check out capecodonline.com gardening. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by sparkly Wellfleet Harbor video. For tonight, mostly cloudy with a slight chance of showers and a low around 58. For Wednesday, sunny with a high near 72. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for June 17th. Till next time, see ya! Cape Cast!